Hello everyone and welcome back. And in this review I'm going to do another review of another Oxford Diecast Taxi. I'm going to get right on into it. So this one is a bit similar to the Scottish Taxi that I did a review of. It's got the same design. But as you can see it's just a plain black taxi. No detailing to it. But I'm going to zoom in real quick on the model. It's pretty nicely detailed. I mean, it looks pretty cool for a taxi. Zoom around the back. That's pretty cool. A little license plate. And then along the other side, pretty cool. And I'm seeing a bit of a glare through the window. I think there's, uh, not sure you can tell, but I think uh, it looks like right behind where the front seat is of the car. I'm going to try to zoom down a little bit. I think there's another window right behind where the that separates the front from the back. Because I noticed a glare. I think that's probably what's in there. Um, zooming in. It's got taxi written right above the window. Or the windshield, I should say. It's pretty cool. Then got a... Oop, zoom down. I'm gonna bring it back in a little bit. There we go. Uh, got the nice detailing that you would on the regular car. Got a little grill at the front. And the spot right there by the front hood. Uh, got a license plate on it. It's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna bring it back around. So this one. Uh, as you can see, no detailing to it, but it also doesn't have a location, so it's just from anywhere, which is pretty cool. You can make it from London or yeah, maybe somewhere else in the UK. It's pretty cool. But I really like the design on this one, too. It kind of makes me think of the Scottish Taxi that I did the review of. You got, a, got the same design to it, and I think that's pretty cool, so I like that. Um... Not a whole lot to say, but it's a pretty cool one for a 176 scale model taxi from Oxford. So it's a pretty cool vehicle. And I'd give this model a 10, I would say, uh, even though there's really no detailing to it. But I just like how realistic it looks to the real vehicle in real life. So I, that's why I'd give it a 10. If you are somebody that likes collecting the 176 scale model vehicles, then I would highly recommend getting vehicles like this for your collection. They're definitely worth the money. Not too sure if Oxford is still running this model. Uh, I'll put the model number in the description. Um, but I would say for sure, uh, if you were to come across this model, I would highly recommend getting it for your collection because it is definitely worth the money. So I would highly recommend getting it if you were to come across it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review and please stay tuned for the next one.